So I want to show you the housewife kit. So this one is a really pretty design with um, floral and sort of butterflies and moths. So if you've not used a housewife before, they're really great for sort of projects. Um, you can hang them, of course, but then you can pop all of your little essentials within there as well, whether it's thread, whether it's fabric, I've got scissors in there, and they make a great gift as well. So I'm going to show you how we make this one. So this is the lining fabric and the dimensions are on the instructions, so don't worry about those. And it wants to be face up. Each of the panels I've cut out and I've just folded them in half and pressed them. And then what you want to do, starting at the bottom, is lay your panels in the order that you'd like them. So a couple of them are larger, so I'm going to go for those first. So we'll pop those on there. And all we're doing at the moment is just laying them out in the order that we want them. Now these are great, you can use coloured pencils on these, you could use fabric pens, and of course you could embroider either the design itself or little borders on there. Now you can choose to use five or six panels, you get six within the kit. I've actually popped a little pattern on to make a glasses case with those, so I'm going to just use the five there. So. I've laid them out, I'm pretty happy with that design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lower ones off. I don't need those at the moment, but I want them in that order. So let me turn those around and pop them next to my machine. And then this one, I've got my sewing machine next to me, but if you haven't, what, what I suggest is just, this is a heat erasable pen, just pop a little mark underneath that shows you where the bottom of that top panel is. I'm actually going to go straight ahead and stitch it, so let's just clip that on there and I'm going to take that round to the machine. So on your machine, you see my modern machine here, this is my grandma's, on the sides you're going to create a really small seam allowance, so I'm doing maybe a quarter of an inch, something like that on there. So let me just run that down. Isn't that a lovely sound? So this is the top pocket, remember. Now, when I get to the bottom edge, I don't need such a small seam allowance. If you've got a more modern machine, you might want to pop um, a zigzag along the bottom here, something, because this fabric does fray a little and that'll just keep your pocket secure or you could perhaps pop a couple of rows of stitching of course you can actually hand stitch these as well so if you want a project that you don't need a machine for at all this is going to be great i'm going to just then again small seam allowance on the side because then this this stitching which is just holding the pockets in place will be hidden by the seam allowance when you put the front panel on. And again, it doesn't matter about finishing it because, oh, I haven't got my scissors. I'm just ask my camera person to pass my scissors if she can do that without moving the camera. Oh, just look at that, amazing. Thank you. Let's just cut that off. I'm just gonna come round and show you this. So that's your first panel and then you'll go to your next panel and the same again. You'll stitch down the sides across the bottom until all of those panels and pockets are on there. And then you've got full instructions with these, but all you need to do then is place your top fabric right sides together with all the way around, leaving a gap for turning. Don't forget to put your ribbon in it before you stitch it. And again, that's written in the instructions and you're going to have a lovely housewife. Enjoy!